So here's my old scope. This is a Tektronix 2215, 60 megahertz. And the Nano VNA is putting out a 10 megahertz square wave. And it, uh, well, you know, kind of a square wave. But the new one is right up here, running off exactly the same signal. It comes out of the Nano VNA, uh, goes into a T, high impedance input there, and then it goes on down the 50 ohm line. There's actually a 50 ohm term here. And uh, see what we got on the new one. And it's even better than that, as we'll see. Now, this is a 70 megahertz scope. At least that's what's on the nameplate up there. But let's see what happens when I switch this to a 70 megahertz CW signal. There it is. Still there, same amplitude. But if I run the horizontal out, you can see it more or less looks kind of squarish still. And in fact, if I pull the loading off, there's some capacitive loading in here. So if I pull that off, so the signal goes straight into the new scope, it's even better. That is a 70 megahertz square wave on a so-called 70 megahertz scope. So here we are zoomed in on the horizontal and I turned on the frequency measurement and the rise time measurement. And hard to see on this camera, but it's uh, 70 megahertz and it's reading 2.5 nanoseconds for the rise time. That is comparable to a 125 megahertz scope, not a 70 megahertz scope. So this 70 megahertz Regal scope DHO802 is behaving like about a 125 megahertz scope here. This is this is amazing. This is great.